Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello for today's video. Let's continue our discussion on how to find the variance and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. This is actually part of our previous video. Okay, so uh, meron tayong formula dito ng variance and then standard deviation. Okay, so uh, let's have an example. So find the variance and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable x with the following probability distribution. So as we observe guys, we have 5 values of x, so which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so and then with its corresponding probability of x, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1. Okay, so para makuha natin guys yung variance, syempre isa-isa natin tong formula. Okay, so isolve muna natin yung mean natin, yung population mean. And paano ba natin sinasolve yun? So first, ang gagawin lang natin dito, um, mamultiply natin yung x times p of x. Okay, so x times p of x. So dito guys, i-continue natin yung uh, table. Okay, and of course, pag minultiply natin yan, Pwede na natin ma-solve or makuha yung summation ng x times p of x or yung population mean natin. Okay? So, 0 times 0 0.1, of course, the answer is 0. Next. So, 1 times 0 0.2, the answer is 0 0.2, right? And, of course, 2 times uh, 0 0.3, the answer is 0 0.6. Or 0 0.60, 0 0.20, walang problema doon. Okay, next, 3 times uh, 0 0.3, the answer is 0 0.9. 4 times 0 0.1, the answer is 0 0.4. Okay, so dito guys, pwede na natin masolve yung um, mean natin. Okay. Yung pagkuha ng mean, same lang sa pagkuha ng expected value, wherein uh, get the summation. Okay, ibig sabihin ipag-add lang natin lahat yan. Okay, yung mean natin dito ay is equal to summation of yan, x times p of x. Okay, next. So kapag pinag-add natin to guys, so, the answer is 2.1. So, ang mean natin ay 2.1. And then, um, para makuha naman natin yung, eto guys, yung formula na to. So, x minus mean. Okay? Extend natin yung column. So, x minus mean, ibig sabihin, itong x natin, from 0 up to 4, magsusulok tayo ng mean ng 2.1, bawat isa. Okay. So, 0 minus 2.1. So, it will give us negative 2.1. Next, 1 minus 2.1, the answer is negative 1.1. So, guys, huwag yung um, okay, malilito kung meron tayong negative na makukuha. Later on, uh, i-square natin yan. So, it will give us a positive answer pa rin. Okay? And then, 2 minus 2.1, the answer is negative 0 0.1, right? And then, 3 minus 2.1, so, it will give us 0 0.9. Tama? Okay. And then, 4 minus 2.1, the answer is 1.9. Okay. So, next... Ang gagawin naman natin dito guys, i-square natin to. Okay? Kasi ito yung formula natin guys na sinusundan natin. So, we need to square yung magiging sagot natin dito. Okay? So, x, quality x, minus mean, square. So, nasundan ba ako guys? So, I suggest dapat um, meron kayong scientific calculator para hindi kayo mahirapang mag-solve. Kasi, bakit scientific calculator? Later, gumagamit tayo ng square root. Okay, so, uh, quality x minus square. 
uh, I mean quantity x minus mean square. Okay, so e ibig sabihin ito guys, square natin siya. So, negative 2.1 square. So, it will give us 4.41, right? And then, ito naman, 1.21. And then, 0 0.01, right? And then, 0 0.9 square. So, 0 0.81, tama? So, 1.9 square. So, it will give us 3. 61. Okay. And then, para, para makuha natin ito guys, okay, i-multiply muna natin to, Okay, yung summation. Para makuha natin yung summation nito, i-multiply natin muna to, So, ibig sabihin, ito, itong column na to, i-multiply dito kay P of X or yung probability of X. So, we have quality X minus mean square times the probability of x. Ayan. So guys, okay, mali dito. Okay, so, ibig sabihin guys, eto, okay, eto yun, multiply natin 4.41, times sa p of x. Yung p of x natin ay 0 0.1. Okay, so so 0 0.1 times 4.41 or 4.41 times 0 0.1 the answer is 0 0.441 Okay, since yan ay lumabas sa calculator natin so 3 decimal places. So, yan ang susundan natin. Okay, next. So, we have 1.21 times 0 0.2 the answer is 0 0.2 2, 4, 2. And then, so we have 0 0.3 times 0 0.01. So the answer is 0 0.003. Next, 0 0.81 times 0 0.3. The answer is 0 0.243. And then last, 3.61 times 0 0.1. So we have 0 0.3. 361. Okay, so guys, kung mapapansin natin sa formula natin ng variance, dapat summation yon. So meaning, ito, uh, ito total natin yan guys. Na? Okay, so get the summation of the last part or last column. So the summation of quality x minus mean square times the probability of x so, ito guys, kapag pinag-add natin yan, ang magiging sagot natin ay 1.29. Okay. And then, so, makukuha na natin yung, actually, ito na yon yung variance natin. So, di ba may formula tayo doon, guys? Ang formula natin ay ito. So, sigma square or variance na tinatawag is equal to the summation of Quality x minus mean squared times the probability of x. So guys, isa-substitute lang natin yan. Okay, so the answer is 1.29. So this will be your um, variance, no? Okay. So paano ba natin kinakumpit yung standard deviation? So ito yung formula natin. Hindi natin masasolve si SD or standard deviation hanggat hindi na solve si variance. Okay? So, ito formula natin dun guys. So, sigma is equal to square root of, yan, so summation ng quality x minus mean square times the probability of x. Ayan. So, dito guys, ang value nito guys, ito yung summation niya ay 1.29. So, square root of 1.29. So, guys, dito gagamit tayo ng scientific calculator. So, ito ay kapag um, pinrest natin sa calculator, it will give us 1.13. 5, 7, 
8 or approximately square root of 1.29 the answer is 1 point okay round of nyan so 1.14 so this will be your answer okay so ganun lang ka simple so this is the end of our video i hope na meron kayo natutunan thank you for watching see you on my next video bye bye